I can have this video without having to download it from Twitch. That way, if there's anything that gets... Like, if I play any music that gets cut out, which is probably not going to be the case, but if I have anything cut out, it won't... I'll have the uh, this version. Anyways. But, yeah, that, that sub was awful. And it sucks because, like, public subs are really good. Um, their chicken tender sub is really nice. I love it a lot. But I should have just gone with that. I wanted to do something different, and I learned the lesson of trying new things today. Sometimes. <laughs> never never try new things, people. Just always try the same thing. So um, <laughs> this is this is Fast Track. Um, I, I figured I'd, I'd ask, because, I mean, I know you were designing this guy for a while. Like, there were just, there were just things that you're trying to get right. Um, yeah, and I kept doing that over is and over there, again. Is there anything with with uh with him specifically that you i don't know i I don't know how to word the question i'm asking it's like i just want to know more about his design like as you were creating him like were there things you tried that didn't work were there things that you definitely wanted because looking at him versus i guess this is is this ultimate alien no yeah oh this ultimate alien yeah i don't know like that's the one thing i like about your designs is how different they they ultimately are (laughs) ultimately but how i don't know I, I like that you didn't just draw him like quote unquote in your style you did a bunch of different things i yeah and i've been kind of drawing <laughs> it's funny the, the weirdest thing is like i've drew a, a lot of stuff over and over again and then i went this head is actually one of the earliest ones i drew like oh, yeah. back when we were working on the show so <laughs> i kind of went back to oh that's cool back to this head but the whole the body was like giving me a lot of trouble because i just like he's so similar to accelerate yeah in in like color and stuff and i just trying to think of ways to like i thought maybe if i made the torso longer like it'd be a little more feline or something but i don't know it's like let me hold on let me turn these off and zoom out so people can see the see the sketch before i ink it i guess it'll it's a lot of time to figure that out I like his uh his shoes, his little shoes with his feet sticking out. Kind of reminds me of uh, of Beast Boy, but Beast Boy had like full covered feet. <laughs> These are they're kind of um I was looking at like Brendan McCarthy's shoes too. He's so good at that kind of stuff. He's the guy who designed oh, yeah. Reboot and War Planets. Oh oh yeah yeah. His he's so good at like like streetwear and stuff. Oh, I found out Bumper is like a. A shoe collector or something. I don't know. Oh, like, what, I don't, what are they called? They're called a shoe head. No. Fuck, yeah, they he said he was that. Yeah. <laughs> something so funny. Like that. That's like, cool. Like, uh, I wonder what kind of stuff he has. I wonder if he collects any like the weird shit, like how they how they're doing like those Thundercat shoes and stuff. There was there's all like on Instagram now you see like like all kinds of them. Like there was yeah. even like one division one division um like um. Converse looking shoes. I didn't see those. I saw I've been seeing um I've been seeing what's it called? Uh fuck. Uh, I saw the Thundercats one. I saw I see Dragon Ball Z ones a lot. Um there was another anime I saw recently that they had, uh, I don't think it was Macross, maybe it was Gundam. No, no, I'm thinking of Evangelion. Fuck. I should buy more Violet Crumbles, man. I was telling you about those earlier. They're oh, so yeah. good. That to- I don't know how to describe it, man. The the it's like a it's like a th- like a chocolate covered toffee, but it's like a honeycomb uh, toffee, and it's specifically it's very airy. Like when you bite into it, it feels like it just disappears. It's so good though, because that toffee you get like that honey flavor, but it kind of has a smoky taste to it. It's so fucking good. That and the lion, lion choco bars have been my favorite. Those are are those British or Canadian or something? There, I think these two. Oh, the um, Violet Crumble is Australian and lion. Australian, I think, is 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 you. Lion, I've had. Yeah. Oh, hey, Tracy's in here. I just finished the last episode of Long Division. I'm putting off. Cool. What? Why am I typing it? <laughs> Why am I typing it? Cool. What did you think, Tracy? <laughs> what did you think of it? Tracy went to Bucky's down here recently, and now I want to go to Bucky's again. I saw she brought Elia a stuffed. Bucky. Oh yeah, yeah, that <laughs> they posted him in the chat. It's Josh, get him. Fucking uh, 
really like those. I'm gonna, I, I said this already, but I want to try and send you like a little Bucky's pack so you can try Bucky's, but I think you're gonna like it. I ended up buying that, um, that part to the Caribbean parrot plush. Oh, yeah. It looks so cool. I don't know why I've just been like really nostalgic for pirates lately. I've been, I've been in on a, that ride. I've been in a, in a Disney kick lately. It's been invading yeah, my too. dreams lately. Now, um, <laughs> I took a nap earlier and I had this weird dream about a non-existent Disney hotel that was themed on food. And it's, it's like this is so boring. But they, it's like it's split. The hotel split in two, and you have savory on one side and sweets on the other. Mm. And there's like this, like you know, you know how like everything they do has like lore in it. And in, in the dream, the lore was this: there was like a misunderstanding that caused the sweet and the savory to kind of form this like I don't want to say a civil war, but like they they just don't like each other. And in the middle of the sweet and the savory is like a juice bar that just serves like all. It's like in the dream, it was like oh, you can get like fucking Dole whips here too. But uh, the whole uh, purpose of it is that you go there and you get your drinks, and the guys that work there are, they tell you the history of everything. It was a fucking nice... It was a nice stream. They had, like, fun little snacks that I wish existed in real life. Like, the Mickey sugar cookies in the dream, they had those, but they were, like, smaller, and it was really fucking great. I, I watched, like, a freaking 20-minute video on... It was just just a video of a person riding the Skyliner around. Oh, I love that shit, man. There's, um... <laughs> Sometimes like, I nothing else happened to them. Sometimes that, I would there was I a pirates just, one of those too. Yeah. Awesome sometimes looking. I would just work to those, just people going around. It's like a whole park tour essentially. Yeah, yeah. I was I was drawn fast track to it. Yeah, yeah. I've been uh I got Ali hooked to it and I got Abe hooked to it, but I think I've sent you some links, but a guy Adam the Woo. He's uh Did you hear about that that um um uh, that monorail restaurant tour or whatever like yeah you, yeah each, each course is like a different hotel mm -hmm. and you take the monorail to oh, i think so i think you i think cool. it was either you or silas one of you were the ones that told me about it i think it might have been you that's i want to do that really neat. bad that's yeah. like become one of my top goals is that that's going to be cool. here or that's going to be there or both we don't have yes it's there it's we don't have anything like that here the the monorail doesn't go anywhere here it just goes in a circle oh, doesn't take right, you anywhere right. <laughs> i hope i hope that they the monorail for uh epcot hasn't started yet i it's this is a little thing that i like but they stopped spelling epcot capital e and then lowercase p-c-o-t and now it's epcot all capitals like it used to be oh, oh i didn't even know that they did that the stream keeps cutting out i must have a bad connection maybe it could be twitch too i don't know um, I'm not getting any dropped frames or anything like that on my end, so I don't, I don't know if it's over here, but it could also be over here. It's okay for me. I've had a lot of internet problems lately too, but everything seems to be holding together right now for me. We we had some uh, pretty nasty internet connections after we had like some really bad storms this weekend, so my connection has been shit for the last couple of days, but it seems to be getting better. Did you forget to watch that video I sent you that one time? about that girl doing the unboxing yeah yeah it had yeah, all yeah. that cool epcot stuff mm -hmm. in it like man that all the logos and stuff in that were so cool they were like they're all retro and should the should the nose be an outline filled black or do you think the nose could just be black like uh it's fine it's fine if it's just solid black just a little thicker than a normal line yeah okay oh, oh, who's following oh we former hey i haven't seven I haven't spoken to... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I haven't spoken to WeForma in a while. It's been a long time since conventions have been a thing. Yeah, yeah. I still got to upload that other uh, part of the uh, TFCon video from last fucking year. The problem is, is that every time I up, every time I edit and upload a video, it, um, because of uh, the, the software I use and the computer I have, it takes the entire day to, uh, to edit... Uh, well, mostly because the videos are streams and the streams are like three hours, but um, it takes like a whole day to do a whole day to edit it, like for it to render, and then it takes another good chunk of time for it to upload. And while it's doing that, I got to try and get work done. So I've just been focusing on a lot of work and not doing those, but I need to get those up. Yeah, dude, that storm with the oh I, yeah, that's right, that's right. You uh, she left. Tracy left in that storm. <laughs> Tracy left in that storm and we never saw her again. Tracy left in that storm and never looked back. A legend says a dragon swooped down from the storm clouds and st stole her away.
Tracy, you have to watch Mac and Me. It's on Tubi. Every <laughs> everyone watch Mac and Me. It's on Tubi. If you I haven't seen, it. what's it? I started watching um, Whose Line Is It Anyway? The the British one. Oh, that's on Tubi. It's on Tubi. It's it's crazy oh, how old that is. It's like animated's on Tubi. That's uh, I have the DVDs, but I've been just watching animated on Tubi, so I don't gotta walk over and get them. Are there any good game shows? Uh, I don't know. I've never looked. They have, but I know they have like uh, a lot of good classic shows. Like they have Adam, the original Adam's Family show. They have the cartoon too. I don't know. I I only watched a handful of episodes of those and didn't really remember much from them. But they have like. Uh, they have a couple 80s cartoons on there, but I forget which ones. I don't know if they still have cops. They used to have cops, I think. Oh, woo, I don't need that brush. I need a hard brush. I um oh, uh, I don't I don't know if you know this, but on eBay, on Hasbro Toy Shop's eBay page, they have that Combat Hero Megatron for like 15 bucks. He was like 32 or something like that. Which one is that? That's the um, Siege Megatron with, oddly enough, it's like a Megatron Origins head. And then he's repainted in like the white, and the white, green, and gray Tiger Stripes camo. Hmm. I didn't want him. Well, let me not change. I wanted him. I wanted, I was going to get the, the, the G2 one, which I still want to get. But when he was 15, I was like, I'll get one for me and Abe. Did you see there was a there's like a wave three of the Marvel retro figures already? No, I didn't. Who's in it? Oh, sh uh, who was in it? Oh my gosh, it was really cool too. Now I can't remember. There was a there was another X Men character. I wonder if I can find it somewhere. Is that the one Magneto there's... or no? Or no, the it's the one after it? that. Yeah, it's oh, like the I, next the, one after that. The Magneto one's the one I know of. Yeah, yeah. I might. If... I don't even have all that wave yet. Like the, I'm still the missing Wolverine like, came out in the brown and tan. Daredevil. Right? What's that? Wolverine came out in brown and tan, right? No, they didn't make a Wolverine yet. Oh, okay, I hope they do. Because I'm thinking I might just do my... Uh, I've been trying to do the Konami X-Men team uh, with the Marvel Legends now that we're, we basically have all of them. So now I just got to buy them. But um, What's it called? Uh, I, might, I might have to get them with those. I want to get some Toy Biz guys and repaint them and do my own like 90s version of them. I've stopped collecting it they're they get to they get expensive like i don't i don't know i know a lot of people that stopped collecting because fucking transformers and everything gets expensive but i've i've just become pickier with what i buy um i do think i'm gonna because it looks like they're i can't i, I don't know for sure but it looks like we're practically gonna get all of season one of beast wars and updated toy form so i'm gonna try and grab them i want to get another rhinox because i would love to either do it myself or pay someone to customize rhinox into the mcdonald's rhino I love those McDonald's figures. I was thinking of doing them with the original Beast Wars toys, though, because that way I can get Depth Charge and use Depth Charge for Manta Ray. And then, of course, Insecticon for the... Um, Insecticon would be out of Beetle, I think is his name. Do you want to do different colored versions of this guy, too, by the way? Um. Oh, I wanted to do... Somebody want to do a, a version where he has like prowl sungla sunglasses oh yeah that would be cool that would be easy to do too I like these shapes that's the thing no matter how much I emulate this emulate your style I don't think I'll ever be able to nail these shapes down I've been wanting to draw more sorry to do, just to, to find the shapes and stuff I wanted to, uh, one of the things I want to do is a, uh, a fake screenshot of Sari, but like she's like Sunbow style Sari. Mm -hmm. uh, if Guido ever does commissions, I want to commission Guido to do a Sunbow Sari. I, know, I wish I wish I could just have Guido in my basement, have him draw <laughs> stuff I wanted. I'm happy he's doing the Shattered Glass comics from, uh, that the IDW is doing that they're putting with the toys. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's doing the interiors in case he's on the covers. I th I don't I don't know who's doing colors. It looks like it might be Joanna or um, John Paul, but I'm just happy to see Casey on covers and really happy to see Guido on interiors. I don't know if they'll do. Um, 
I've been really late with the last cup with the last bit of IDW stuff I've done. So I don't know if I'll be able to to bug them to do a cover. I'd love to do a cover for the regular book when it comes out. I got cuz the the comics that are coming out Wait, this line's a lot thinner than the line I was using. There we go. The um the Hasbro ones come with an exclusive Casey cover. And then the I'm, I'm guessing that the everything else would just be regular covers, so I'm hoping maybe I can I don't know. I'd like to do another cover. I'm two covers in though, so I feel I feel like that's enough. Hold up, someone asked a question. Derek, question: Since you said you weren't doing Generator Rex, did you decide what other Ben Ten design you were going to do? Uh, I never said I wasn't doing it. Oh, I never really paid attention to Generator Rex much. I only know of Generator <laughs> Generator Rex. Uh, he's crossed over with Ben Ten before, hasn't? Yeah, hasn't that's he? that's the only reason I really know anything about it either it's not very i never really this is a very interesting concept to me it's just it looked even like the pitch art looked weird i was like why you, does he have a large <laughs> foot <laughs> it just you, didn't make any sense i didn't i didn't really i watched a couple but i didn't really pay attention to secret saturdays but i really loved their designs and uh ben, i don't know if that was omniverse or if that was the one before that was omniverse yeah i really fucking loved those designs they made me want to get the toys they're not the same but they made me want to get the get um secret saturday toys I think Secret Saturdays is, was kind of a. It could have been a really cool show. It was just, it just was given to like the wrong people to do. Yeah. Like it felt like it, it could have had the same spirit of the original Johnny Quests. Well, it was yeah, because it was Jay Stevens' um, creation, so it was really rich. Hello. Oh no. Did we lose Derek again? Ah, we lost Derek again. I think. I know I don't I know this line shouldn't go all the way up here, but I'm gonna let it kind of I like when the lines spill over just a little bit. Yeah, I think we lost we lost the big D. So I guess I'll just wait for him to call me back. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I got my audio into okay, so I mentioned a while ago I bought um a, a B microphone, a worker B microphone. I forget what specific one it's called. I think it is oh, a worker. Shit. There you are. Okay. What? Well, I don't know what what happened. Was that me or is that? Uh, I don't know. That's just that's just it's just unfortunate, <laughs> is what it is. I'm sorry, but yeah. what, were you, what were you saying? You're talking about Secret Saturdays and uh, the show. The show I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> I think it was something about how cool like you backflips. You said my backflips are really fucking neat. Can't take it back now. I, I always like that kind of crypto zoology stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, Derek, cool that would be fun idea. to do. Uh, we were talking about doing uh, the the Patreon with designs. What if we did like uh, mm. like cryptids and stuff? Not like yeah, every maybe, month. I was, but, what you know. I was thinking we we could do is like every month we'll do like a poll or two polls. Like we'll do a poll of like what kind of um, what property or what what theme. Oh, yeah, yeah. The design is. And then, like, say we pick Star Wars or something, or you know, or, or Transformers animated or whatever. But then, then like, then after that, we have another poll to pick the character. What do you think yeah, about that? That'd be great. So then, like, the people kind of get to speak. And then, like, I, maybe every once in a while, we'll be like, okay, this month we're just gonna do this guy. <laughs> I'd be, I would be one hundred percent fine with that. I just like the idea. Yeah. I just like the the idea of it being a design, uh, a focus on character design. Cause that kind of stuff is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. There should be one where we focus on. Sh um, I don't know how to put it nicely, but shows that have bad character design. <laughs> and like, I don't know, like taking a, a a show that had really hideous design and trying to make them attractive. Mm been watching uh Dinah Zanon. That is so good. I like it a lot. What is? Uh Dinah I'm saying it weird. Dinah Zenon. It's uh the it's a like the next series Trigger's doing after Gridman. Oh. Apparently there's a lot of Transformer references in this one too. I'm not catching them and I haven't really caught up on, on who's what. It looks like a lot of Beast Wars and Botcon stuff, like Night Racer and shit. 
But there was a, a kaiju they were fighting that was pretty much just Snapdragon. Hmm. But Dinazinon's uh, design's really great. I, I like. I just have a soft spot for Gridman. Gridman's just really fun stuff. There's this character named uh, Goma. I think his name's Goma. I've only. It's only been. It takes me a while to learn these guys' names, but uh, he's kind of like the main kind of. Not the main kid, but the main. He's like one of these main. One of the main characters who has like pink hair, something like that. He's so fucking great. He cracks me up. I'm looking forward to what this show does. Oh, me, you, Ali, and and Abe, and if we can get anyone else like Tracy or Mazel or something, we should all watch Project Echo because that's on Tubi too. I used to watch that. That was cool. I love Project Echo. I still. I still wish it's that just a movie, isn't it? It's not, it's not it's, a series, it's, is it? It's like um, four or five movies, and then like oh, a, and then or whatever. It, yeah, well, it's four or five movies, and then um, and then two o uh, o o o v a s o v o a v s. It's like I don't know how that works. The o v a s and o v a. Original animated video. Daimus, what did you think of the new Gridman series they did recently? Oh, let's just talk about that. I loved it. It's really good. I love Dinazanon, and I like I liked the entirety of Gridman when it came out. It was really fucking fun. It's a really really fun series. It's one of the few times I've seen um, 3D in uh, uh, Japanese animation that didn't feel I don't know like it just fuck like everything just stops and you're looking at 3D. Like you kind it kind of does, but they handle the choreography and the fights really well. So the 3D doesn't feel so like uh, it doesn't feel so so boring and, and like oh okay well, it it's like Invincible I like Invincible it's a fun series but there are times that the CG just like I don't know that's all you can look at there's a scene I don't where, watch that yet you should it it's it's worth it um, there's a there's that scene where Mark's talking to his friend in high school and the background characters are all just unrendered. I don't know. I don't know if unrendered is the correct term, but they're just all these, um, like complete three D models in animation loops, and it it looks really bad. It looks not good. I but it's like I I can kind of understand because you're probably you know you're not supposed to be paying attention to these characters, so I understand why they probably why said, why not <laughs> like every fucking show I've ever worked on we've designed incidentals like. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what they that's Why what I not? feel like they should be doing. But I can understand if the I can understand the mentality of it of saying, you know, what's the mentality of it? <laughs> the mentality is we don't we we got to trim the fat on our budget, so we got to put we got we got to put the shortcuts somewhere. Yeah. I'm not saying it's good, but I'm saying I I can understand it. But I just it, that's a it, that's just a that's a choice you make though. Like yeah, you know, like, it just throws me out looking at it. I I'm not a fan of it. There's a lot of times that they use um, CG in that show that it's just it's too obvious that it's CG and it just cuts me out of it strongly. I kind of have a it's thing. A lot of cartoons like that. Yeah, I don't hate I don't hate 3D, but there's a lot of times I see a show in 3D. I'm like, this would have been so much better if it was just a 2D cartoon. Yeah. I, I that's me in almost every Transformer cartoon that's in 3D, including Transformers Prime. I would have enjoyed Prime infinitely more if it was 2D, because then the world could have actually felt inhabited. But because it was a CG with a budget, you never saw a population, and it just made me feel like no one was in danger. The whole ending with where... Not whole ending, uh, the whole bit they have with Unicron, where it's like, oh, he's threatening everyone on the planet. It's like, who? Who on the planet is he threatening? We only ever see, like, eight people in the entire series. I don't know. I remember, like, the Justice League Unlimited, they would always, like, render the CG elements, like, ba like backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Like, with that. And it was kind of that gross, airbrushy background style back then. And it's just the. Yeah, it just took, takes you out of the, the show when you see that. And, like, ugh, <laughs> why? I'm not cool enough. I think a, sometimes uh, people use, use the, like, CG. When you don't even need to, too, like... I mean, we did we did a lot of it on Omniverse, honestly. Are you there, Dash? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I'm reading the thing. Oh, okay, I, Abe, I thought Abe says on, he's yeah. threatening Mac. <laughs> what? Abe, Abe popped in the chat and said that, that he's threatening Mac. Uh, From Mac and me. 
the the lovable alien that that looks like he's literally no one would care if that thing died we were watching it and the entire there's a scene where there's a, a scene where um so mac is separated from the rest of his family for those that don't know and there's a scene where they reunite first off they give them all coca-cola it is i don't look i don't mind brand driven things i don't mind brand driven things at all but that movie it just screams of it like it's distracting although i got excited because they had the uh, is it carrium something like that they had the jail toy from um brave star and then there was like a wall of toys at one point where it was a bunch of he-man toys and then the castle of lions and i just love seeing that shit in, in in old 80s movies and stuff but um but anyways we're supposed to we're supposed to be looking at this dying family and feel like oh no they're dying i feel bad and the entire time we're like they're all ugly this is like mercy if they all died <laughs> they're all hit i'm not trying to say they should die because they're ugly but nothing about their design is like attractive nothing about their design is cute they look like they're constantly giving blow jobs yeah, I, remember. I think they did do a Mystery Science Theater. That. I if they did, that if they did one, we should find it and watch it. If, I think it's one of the Netflix ones. Oh, is they it? Did. I think. Oh. I mean, not positive, but yeah, I think so. I'm a little rusty on, on inking right now. I've been in, in color mode for the longest time. Am I still on? Okay, good. I was just making sure I didn't have the wrong size brush. Oh hey, uh, I, I keep forgetting if it's floor gay or floor floor hey. I'm gonna say floor gay, Steve. Alec, Ali's been, uh, Ali's telling me about Mac. Oh, is she there right now? Is she telling you right now? Is she in your ear like a little annoying bird? Toy oh, planets. Okay. You mean playsets? Hold up. Do you both have any favorite? Must be like auto right? Playsets. I th yeah, I think he just means like uh, the big playsets. Wow. Do you do you both um, have any favorite toy playsets? The the one they did for the the Ben 10 Omniverse um, laboratory was freaking awesome because they didn't had know they did that. Yeah, it was so cool. Well, part of the part of the reason I love it is because like they sent me the um, the concept art for it, and like what I did was I took all these props from the show and details from the show and like pasted over like they, they had like a cannon, so I took a can uh, like a laser cannon from the show and used that and like so they redid the whole playset and it <laughs> it looks totally like the show. They even have like stickers with like the the pixelated background painting style oh, on it and neat. stuff. <laughs> and, and it turned out awesome. That's that's one thing I, I, I liked about playsets. that's one thing I liked about Omni Omniverse with those little those textured backgrounds. Yeah, that was fun. I, I always like when people add like that slight difference to the backgrounds to make them to help make them stand out. Um, as what, far as what vintage did you have any vintage playsets? Like my we did. Um, we grew. My up... neighbor was the one who had like Boulder Hill and <laughs> and like we, all the Star Wars playsets and stuff. We had Death Star. we had uh, Castle Grayskull. I know we had Snake Mountain. Um, Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain. I can't really think of too many of them. Uh, there were, I know that, I I mean, Mighty Max. Those, that's the whole line is, is playsets. Yeah. I love Mighty right. Max. That's got to be... It, it, favorite playset I owned was Skull Mountain, I think. Because I, I played so much with Skull Mountain. If I had it here, it's in Texas. But if I had it here, I'd still be playing with it. But the, um, the playset... I Cobra, Cobra Terror Drum. Oh, yeah. The, the playset we didn't have that I think is fucking great is the computer playset from Computer Warriors. It's a com oh. it's a computer. They had two playsets that were really fucking neat. They had like a book that opened up into a playset, which is boring, but it, it was neat to me. But they had, but then they had a computer playset, which I really loved because it was just a computer that opened up into like what the inside of the computer was, and it shot out four discs and stuff. Computer Wars was ahead of its time, I think. I think it. I still think it, it's it kind of missed the boat. I think when they were doing the toys to life, that would have been a great time to bring computer warriors back with toys to life. Man, I really hate this neutered, <laughs> the neutered playlists I have to use. I wish I could use something with a little more bump. I'm trying to think of other playsets. Like there's, I know there's cool Star Wars ones that the. They've been oh, making what about these, like... the what about the Ghostbuster Firehouse? Yeah, I didn't have that either. I saw that one time. I saw that markdown 
really cheap. I can't remember how cheap it was, but I saw like a they had a whole stack of boxes of it, and I should have I should have freaking bought one. That thing is awesome. With the he even has the the what's it called the um the ghost uh what the heck is it called? Are you there? I'm here. I'm here. I'm trying to figure out yeah. what the name was. Hold on, wait. Someone asked a question for Derek about the design. What's what's the arrow head on the belt meant to be a part from a part of the belt or an indent? What what? I don't know what they're I think talking he's, about. I think he's talking about this design. Hold on, let me zoom out. Um I think he's asking if this is part of the design or an indent. Like, I don't know. Like I guess is this is this his is it fur or costume? I can't tell if that if that's what maybe they mean. I don't know what they mean. Uh, man, what was I did have I did have um Oh hey, Jedi Birdo's in here. Wait, wait, is Jedi Oh there he is, Jedi Birdo. Hey, that's our that's my buddy that's my buddy that, that uh we went to high school together and worked at the parks together for a bit. I had that um the mask uh uh, what was the big, the venom, the big venom truck that sort of turned into a playset? I had that Ooh, one. I that was know. awesome. Mask was great. I, I'm a big fan of those like smaller action figures, and because they're smaller, you can have these really cool playsets. Like I, I love a lot of six, the like the six inch toys and stuff, but like three and three quarters and under are always going to be like the best toy size to me. Yeah, I don't cool. like. I like I like Hot Toys size too, like the mm -hmm. six scale. But like I don't like six inch for some reason. I just I'm just not interested in seeing. It. I think it's because I'm seeing too many toy lines that, in my mind, should be three and three quarter, still that are being done in six yeah. inch. So I, yeah. And it like even when they I don't know something about them. They're like the the six inch figures are like bulkier too. Like they. Maybe because of the articulation or something, but they're never quite as as nice to me. I wonder why why six inches like that's the like super norm for for figures now. I, I would have like preferred it to be four or five, honestly. I think that's good enough. But they tried some of those scales too, I think. Four I've really five. I haven't bought any, but I really think I might end up buying some um some of the uh, what's it called uh, He Man the the new He Man toys. There's something about seeing them. They look so nice in the package. I get really happy seeing that flat blister card with He-Man and then his shield wrapped up behind him. That He-Man shield is super nostalgic for me. He-Man is something that should be big. That's that seems yeah. like it should be a big bulky figure. How do you feel about the the all the toys that are popping in the reaction figure lines? Like those kinds of uh, uh I Ketter, the, five. Honestly, lines. I was I was a little disappointed in the gem. Those yeah. they're kind of or figures. They're kind of like very unladylike, <laughs> like just like straight up and down blobs, kind of. Like I wish they would do Kenner, um, like the last series of Star Wars figures from Kenner, like where they're like they have just the right amount of detail and likeness and proportion and stuff. Like yeah, where they're not and they're never. Even the first series of Kenner stuff isn't as blobby as some of the reaction stuff, but some of the reaction stuff is awesome too. I mean, uh, it just depends on the on the line, I guess. That's a good. That's a good thing. Someone says maybe it's easier to convert the heights of characters in inches, in feet to inches, if you have six foot equals six inches. That's great, but I really wish that they had, that by that by that logic, I really wish Wolverine was a five inch toy. Like in the six inch line, I mean, I don't think he is. I know that he kind of feels shorter than everyone, but I've never actually taken Wolverine and seen how much shorter he is than everyone else. I think the I think the real reason is is because that uh, people just think they they see more my parents especially too they see more value in a larger toy. Yeah. Like they'd rather pay for a, a larger toy like that. They think they they're getting more. Than versus a smaller toy, I think. That's why there's no like, there's no Mighty Max or Micro Machines or anything barely anymore. You know, yeah, it bothers me that there's still Polly Pocket though. If you're if Polly Pocket <laughs> has to survive and Mighty Max can't, just make Polly Pocket into an action toy. I'll buy Polly Pocket toys if you Polly Pocket and fucking Skull Dungeon, do it. 
they make them the same size for value. Yeah. I, I mean, again, thanks for that follow, Spooky Laundry. Um, I do think that it's probably because, like, in the '80s, the toy scales were all over the place. Like you had you had companies that were truly okay. This is like when you had the turtles, kind of. You had a lot of companies that were trying to match that scale. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, yeah, it kind of is like the whatever the the size of the moment is. Yeah, but like I feel like the eighties had a lot more like because you had like mask figures that were tiny. Transformers yeah. didn't have any fucking scale. And then uh, there was like the superpower scale that was like four and a half inches, mm -hmm. and then there was the. The real Ghostbusters and Silverhawk scale, which was like five, five yeah, inches yeah, or something. Yeah, three and three like, quarter with Joes. Yeah, it was all over the place. There was like, and then there was, was it Spiral Zone? That was like eight inches, right? There yeah, was, so Spiral there were Zones like, were big. Well, I think um, wasn't Centurions also big like that too? Yeah, Centurions were were even bigger, I think. But they were all plastic. They didn't have any yeah. clothes. Yeah, those were, those were cool. So Spiral, yeah, they, Spiral Zone. The eighties, there were like every every size you could think of, kind of. I like the idea of like a universal shit because then all your toys can kind of play together. I like yeah. that, but I also really like the idea of a toy line being specifically. Hold on. By the way, I'm curious what brushes this you're using. Um, the brush I'm using it's it's a brush preset, not necessarily a brush, but it's called uh, Perfect Pencil Two, and I got it from Kyle's Drawing Blocks. I think they're all free now, but at the time, uh, you bought a bunch of these brush presets. Um. I think they're like standard with Photoshop now, or at least you can download them for free with Photoshop. I'm not positive. They should be easy to find. Just look up Kyle's brushes, maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked them up in a while, but this perfect pencil I like a lot. I used to use, uh, Sarah Stone gave me a pencil brush a while back that I used to use, but this one I like a lot better because if you up the flow and the opacity to 100%, you get a nice textured line. I don't, that's the thing I don't like about inking digitally is. I don't like my lines to be super clean and to feel digital. So I like to I like to have brushes that have just a bit of texture in them so that way you don't get that same consistency across the board with your inking. But I'm not an inker, so I'm not I'm gonna go grab another drink. Yeah. I drank my soda too fast. They still are each company that size their scales in the has the hotel being specific in their sizes. Yeah, probably. That's most likely the case. Um, I just keep seeing like across the board like when when I go to um, Walmart a lot of times I see action toys or anything it's usually everyone's doing one it's either your three and three quarter or your six inch I think He-Man might be the only one that's doing something that might be I think that's still five inch I'm not sure it's interesting hearing that Jay Stevens has a negotiated toy line for Secret Saturdays I was like oh that sucks Hi there. When you finished with Fast Tracks Omniverse Appearance, will you upload the finished piece on Google Drive? I don't know where Derek uploads them, but I know he'll definitely be posting them to Twitter. I, I'm just inking them and giving them to Derek to do whatever he needs to do with them. Uh, if there's a drive that he, if, if he's supposed to be doing, I hope they'll most likely be on there. But I don't know. Man, I'm having a Diet Dr. Pepper and cream soda, and now just a regular Coke Zero sounds good. Yep, big toy company set the general standard. Yeah, um, it makes me miss kind of the Wild West of the 80s where everyone was just kind of going crazy and throwing as much as they can to the wall to see what sticks. You got a lot of shitty toy lines out of it, but I kind of miss that that era of, yeah, sure, let's give it a shot. <laughs> There was that toy line for a while that I was kind. I kind of liked it. It wasn't a. It didn't win me over too much. Thanks for the follow, um, TS1 Twitch. But um, there was a toy line called uh, Grocery Gang. It started out as a small blind bag, a blind box kind of thing, and then it became like an action figure line, kind of. They were. I think they were four inches. I don't know. But I like shit like that. That's really cool. I like that they did. Uh, grocery gang because it felt almost like a spiritual in some ways it felt like a spiritual successor to um food fighters and i'm a big fan i'm a big fan of food fighters there were a lot of those a lot of those like really weird lines in the 90s i i just i really liked them because they were just weird i guess like uh barnyard commandos i know barnyard commandos has a i don't know who's doing them but i know that there's like a collector line of them coming out 
if they haven't already come out. Yeah, they have like crazy a crazy amount of points of articulation and everything. The, the, the original ones have zero articulation. Yeah, they they, just they make them so you can things with a hole in the bottom. They make them so you could <laughs> properly so you could properly bend them like real animals and shit. But um, they look nice, but they're it's too extravagant for me. I feel like Barnyard Commandos needed to continue being a super simple line with just missile pods and shit that you put on them. There's this big toy show about a about an hour from me i think called frankensons yeah yeah I, that place it's looks like, awesome yeah and they had like there's one it's like a huge warehouse of it's almost like a, a flea market inside kind of like or mm -hmm. or like the um tfcon um toy show yeah like, like if it was in a permanent place yeah. but yeah there's like one booth way way back in the corner that has like um old 80s and 90s stuff that's like that like barnyard commandos and and food fighters and stuff i love that place <laughs> i love that so much man i need to i want to i've always i saw justin scarred go there in a video and i really want to go to frank and yeah we should go I, I, I like as soon as i get inoculated i think i'm gonna go same as soon as i as soon as i can get my vaccine i really want to uh i'd love to do i'd love to go out and travel more i gotta get my car fixed too I think it's the, I went, I've said this before, I, but it's like the alternator or something. Yeah, yeah. Did you you even you even got it looked at yet? Nah. Every time I, I have to go there with it, and I just have so much shit I got to take care of. I'm hoping to do it this week though. I don't want to keep putting it off. I'm getting caught up I, with my work though, so that's fine. I went to Frankenstein's like right before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And it was still awesome. I really want to go back. I wish we had a toy place like that here. We um, the closest we get is uh, there's a place called Big Dog. Is it Big Dog Comics? I think it's Big Dog Comics down here, and they kind of have a little bit of of like some vintage figures. Nothing like. It's it's not like I don't want to say it's not impressive because sometimes they'll have like some good stuff, but it's not like I wouldn't call it a vintage toy store. Um, it's a comic shop that has some vintage toys, but not enough for me to say, let's if, we're, if I'm looking for toys, I'll go there. Then there's this place that's a, um, like an estate sale kind of thing. I don't know, but they, they sell stuff and I guess it's like comics and some figures, but a lot of it's like Funko Pops and it's not, not too much of it is, is actual like vintage figures. They have some cool, like old, uh, like old Hanna-Barbera cookie jars and shit, but that's it there are these um vintage toy stores sort of near disneyland in An anaheim mm -hmm. and it's crazy because there's like there's like two strip malls that are across the street from each other and there's like two toy stores in each strip mall oh. and they're all totally different like there's one that's more like 80s and 70s and action figures and stuff and then there's a one that's called like like a disney pin collectible store but they also have like kind of action figures and and other stuff in it and then there's across the street there's one that's more like earlier toys like like yeah, tin toys yeah. so those those shops are super cool oh man uh, what were the ones you took me to some of them when uh when the botcon was there hey thanks I for think... the for the follow uh k and carly carlisle k and carlisle i think i think i took you to blast from the past which is like one in in burbank Oh yeah, yeah. Just I just went there. That was fun. I like weeks ago. I like that time because if you if I didn't hang out with you and Brianne, I would have been in the, at that airport waiting for like six hours. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember because I just texted you and, and yeah, you're like, "What are you doing? So what are you I was, doing?" You're I was like, "I'm waiting airport. at the airport for like six hours." <laughs> I was so pissed because but I I'm I'm super hung up on MCO because uh, Orlando MCO is Orlando International Airport for people because I, I I've. I don't know. It's easier for me to 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 say the airport by its code than its name, but um, Orlando kind of spoils me because a lot of a lot of a while ago my car wasn't working. This is I'm explaining for people in the chat. But a while ago my car wasn't working, so when I went to the airports, I was kind of slave to what the shuttle services were, and sometimes there would be a shuttle service that like they were full up on the day i needed them to bring me um to the airport but like 12 13 24 hours before my flight they had 
shuttles. And so I would sometimes be waiting at MCO for like anywhere from 12 hours to, I remember one day it was like 23 hours uh, before my flight. And MCO feels like it's made for people uh, who have to, hold up. Uh, hey Derek, I'd like to book Marty Eisenberg for a podcast. I do TF YouTube stuff, but I can't find him on social media. Is there an agent or talent agency I can reach him through? Likewise, would an Instagram DM be an appropriate way to book you? Um, gosh, I don't know uh, how to get a hold of him. Let me. Yeah. Um. Give me a minute to think about what to do. I guess an Instagram, yeah, but like I don't have. I don't usually I don't have my um. DMs public on Instagram. I was gonna say, if they, I mean, mine, mine's are. If he wants to contact me, and then I, and then maybe we can middleman. Yeah, if you want to do that, you can go through Josh, and then you can um, get my email, maybe, and then I'll, I can just email Marty and ask him. Yeah, shoot me a a, a, a dim on on the Instagrams, on the Teddy Grams. Have you ever had those uh, the Disney uh, Disney ice pops? They're like the they were like these uh, fruit popsicles that were no. they were shaped like Mickey and Donald and Goofy. Ooh, they were really good. Every time I see a commercial for them, I get like these weird flashbacks of really wanting to eat them. I want Disney snacks. Me too. Silas is uh, I believe he's vaccinated right now. He's trying to he's trying to see if he can get a trip, a Disney trip together at the end of the month. I want to go with you guys someday. Uh, we would absolutely love to go to Disney with you. I'll totally go line up for the characters and stuff with you guys too. You know? that, I, that's the one thing I really love about about going to Disney with Silas. Is Silas is I'm really excited. That's like his his focus, right? Yeah, almost. I'm really I'm really excited to see the characters, and Silas is one of the few people that I've gone to the parks with. That's also super excited to see the characters too. Ava as well, but you know. Um, thanks, that will work. Okay. Uh, also, to my suggestion on the Ben 10 Wiki, you can see all the post-production artwork in one place. You had to go through your name to... Post-production artwork? What do you mean post-production artwork? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, I think I missed something. <laughs> post-production artwork is the cartoon. <laughs> the suggestion was approved. You can go over there. You see the two uh, I'll have to. I don't, I don't necessarily know what this unofficial artwork. Oh, I think he's talking about posting these pieces after we do them. Because he was. The, uh, yeah, I'm saying he. Sorry, I'm assuming. Uh, they were talking earlier about uh, if these are going to be uploaded to a uh, Google honestly, Drive. Honestly, Josh, I, I'm just not very interested in what the wiki is doing, so okay, I can skip it. Oh, I, I <laughs> was just. I was just putting context. I just don't too. care. That's fine. <laughs> I want, I want to talk about Disney food. Yeah, let's talk about Disney food. <laughs> there was, there was this... That um, pickle, the pickle dog <laughs> looks freaking crazy. Do they, does it have a creative a, name or it's just called a pickle dog? I can't remember what it was called, but it's like a... Did you see someone put a Snickers in a pickle and they're like, what's wrong, Dave? You haven't touched <laughs> your snickle. They're like, you haven't, the alley eat. they're like, you haven't tried, you haven't touched your snickle. <laughs> no, the, um, there's this, uh... It's in the Sleepy uh, Hollow Tavern or whatever it's called. That's there on Liberty. It's in Liberty Square. But they have this, uh, like, spicy chicken and waffles that me and Silas had one time. They were really fucking good. I, I watched a, another video on somebody who went to Chicken Guy, but they didn't really, like, talk too much about it. But, like, the chicken looked really good, but they didn't try different sauces and stuff. Like, the, uh, Adam, I was watching Adam the Wugo, the chicken guy, and he tried all the different sauces they had. Well, he, yeah, they did a flight of all the sauces. I'd really love to try a chicken guy. I've never been... I can't believe you haven't been there. That's crazy. I think me and Silas wanted to go. You know what it was? I think I've never been... Well, maybe I have been when it was open. I know there was, been, uh... there was a, a, a point where me and Silas were trying to go, but I think we ended up going somewhere else because maybe the line was crazy. Have you been to Morimoto? Yeah, yeah, we've been to both to the Morimoto Express Street Food that they it's like they have the restaurant and then outside the restaurant they have a more quick service version. So yeah, we, we've cool. been in, we've been in and out. The a little what's a little disappointing. It's, it's all good. But what's oh thanks for the follow. Um, NPZ Man One. 
Um, the it's a little disappointing because the ramen on the that you get inside Morimoto in the proper restaurant, I think the one in the express one's a little better. They're not like fantastic, but they're for quick service. They're really good, but it tastes on par from what I remember with the other one. Um, but it, I liked it. I liked both of it, both of them, both uh, the the regular restaurant and the quick service option. I kind of prefer the quick service option just because it's quick service option. Yeah. Um, probably um, cheaper too, right? Like. Yeah. Well, a little. Don't have the tip and stuff like. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also but, like. But I would, I would honestly wanna probably do a sit down yeah in it at least once though you just to, yeah. to experience the restaurant the ambience and everything you know there's um boma flavors of africa that's a rest that and beer garden those two restaurants are kind of like my my first uh my uh, not my first i don't know how to put it like those are the the, the restaurants i really fucking love is are, boma in the animal kingdom it's in the animal um, kingdom lodge. hotel yeah lodge yeah the, really there's good. i was i saw something where you can go there and uh like you can make a i think you can make an appointment and then you can go and like sample the food oh i didn't know that like if and then like you can decide if you want to make an appointment to have dinner there or something oh. that like, have you, that sounded amazing do you like, like if do you, you like german there's two restaurants in the lodge right like yeah it's boma and then jumbo no i think it's boma it might be jumbo jumbo juice <laughs> have you ever um do you like you like german food right uh yeah yeah I haven't had a shitload of German food but yeah the beer had. beer garden in uh in Epcot's real I love it man that's one of my favorite buffets to go there's it's Boma and beer garden are my favorite buffets and then um I also really liked restaurant Marrakesh in Morocco mm. I and, I've been there I've, yeah it's so good and then the um what's the other one in Epcot that I like shit there's the um the the I oh think it's the in land the French that's pavilion. the land Big enough, big enough. Oh, you're talking about the thing with all the um, with all the baker baked goods and stuff. Yeah, and they have like a, no, they have like a charcuterie board. Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, me and Silas, whenever we go to Epcot, we usually stop at France at that at that place that has like the, all the it has a bunch of sandwiches and and baked goods. We usually stop there, and I'll get like a a creme brulee from there and some other stuff. Some other stuff that I don't know the name of. I can't pronounce it right now. I got to go to the um, the food and wine festival one year oh yeah that's that was just so awesome like i would they do that every year right yeah that's probably like one one of the it's one of the few times epcot gets a lot of attention is that alex milne whoa it's alex i haven't it's been a let me i've spoken with alex off and on but it's been it's been a minute you you super busy alex well, I mean, of course he is. He's fucking working, but... Man, I really want to go to... Me and Alex went to uh, the Morimoto Street Food thing uh, when oh, cool. when uh, he was down here for Orlando Megacon. It was super busy, though. Yeah. But it was... I don't know. It's still good food. I like it a lot. I <laughs> love that. Alex, uh, one of Alex's places down here that he liked a lot was uh, Steak and Shake. That's not like a. That's not specifically a Flor a Floridian thing, but I do like steak and shake. Ours got shut down because of like crack or something <laughs> like that. Did I tell Did I tell you that there's a a Guy Fieri restaurant in uh, in the Burbank Airport? No. I discovered it one well because I, sometimes I fly out of there to go home and stuff, and I discovered it one year. It was it was all right. It's like it wasn't it wasn't mind blowing because it was just like a little dinky airport restaurant, but it was still it was pretty good. I had like a a breakfast burrito with <laughs> and a side of tater tots. <laughs> oh, that if you ever come down here, Derek, if you come down to Disney World, uh, we should hit up Bucky's because Bucky's is it, they're only like I think an hour drive away or something like that from from them. It might be shorter. I don't know, but they um. They they have like a, a breakfast. Their breakfast is really good, and they they have really good. I've been, I had one of their their barbecue sausage sandwiches, and I've just been thinking about it ever since. I think that was Easter. I want to try the there. White Castle breakfast. They're gonna have so. a White Castle in Orlando soon. Lucky. Yeah, no. All right, lucky. I'm not even in Orlando anymore. <laughs> 
but yeah, they're gonna have a white castle there. They had a, a taste test, uh, not taste test, a thing where it was like a test kitchen kind of thing where they were mm-hmm. serving white castles, and I guess it was doing super fucking well because they sold yeah. out of everything and wait times were crazy. But the it should be opening up soon. It's the only time I ever get to eat White Castle. White Castle is when I have gone to uh, Transformers conventions. And I know we the, even the first the one in Cincinnati. Uh, Marty and Matt and I took a taxi to mm-hmm. Kentucky <laughs> to go to White Castle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I miss when uh, the last BotCon in Louisville when we all went to that Brazilian steakhouse. Like what two or three times. Yeah, but there was one time you guys went and I didn't go and like you went with Marcelo and like he ordered off the menu and stuff like Yeah, something like that. I missed that one. That's kind of a bummer. But yeah, that place was pretty awesome. There was the one that we went to in Chicago that I really I hated it so much. It was Bertram's birthday. <laughs> oh, I don't think I was there for that one. No, right? like, that that was TFCon. Um but it was Bertram's birthday and First off, I didn't like the server. I didn't like me and Alex. Uh, we they barely they barely gave us because they didn't do refills on drinks. You had to keep buying new cans or bottles of Coke or whatever whatever it was, and they wouldn't pay it. They they were not coming to us and making sure that we needed refills. The people that were supposed to be coming around with the um, with the food weren't coming around to our table. I specifically ordered a cake for Bertram's birthday, and that never showed up. Oh my gosh! And basically, me and Alex got so pissed off. I think we paid for everyone's food and said "fuck it" and left. We just bolted. We were pissed. Everyone else you know, that like, was there seemed like they were having fun fucking around with the waiter. I think, but me and Alex were done. You know, um, you're like the more like the Disney expert, but I think like Bertram is my theme park buddy right now because I've been to Universal and to Disneyland <laughs> with him. And I've never been to a theme park with you yet. No, that's because you got to come to Florida. I do, but I also want to go there. I want to. I want to go to uh to, to California. It's been a minute. Yeah, you should. Like maybe like in like. Like two years when like Avengers Campus is dying down a little bit, then you should come out and, or maybe one year. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just go now. I just I just want I just want to hang out with you guys. I like that one uh that one ramen place we went to. Yeah, I've been I, back there. It always cracks me up because every time I look at my photos from there, uh, my fucking ramen so phallic because they have the two eggs and the big slice of meat in the middle and it looks like a a giant, you know what, chat, right? Type a one in the chat if you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, which have you worked on Omniverse? No, I haven't. Everything I do that's Ben 10 related is after the fact. What a miserable waiter, yeah. But we went to that the another one of the other TFCon Chicago's. Uh, I know it was me, Alex, maybe Nell and 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 uh, and and Logan. We went to uh, this one German place. I liked that German place. It wasn't quite beer garden, but it was really good. I like that. Um, I like that place by the old TFCon. That was the Mongolian barbecue. I have never been. Where they had like, they had like, like crazy like meat options. There was like bacon was a meat option. You could just have bacon, oh, and man. like it was just and lamb and like it was crazy. And then like, not only was it, like so like it's like a third I guess of the restaurant is this, is the Mongolian grill. But then the other two thirds is a fucking Chinese buffet, which oh, like honestly I barely even so touched good. it because I was just eating Mongolian, you know. I, like, I haven't had Mongolian food in forever. I think the last yeah. time I had Mongolian. And this is Mongolia. I'm using air quotes. Was when it was Genghis Grill back when I was working on Rom versus Transformers. Was this? Um, uh, what shows have I worked on? I've only worked on one one TV show publicly. Not TV. Not even TV show. I've only worked on uh, Half Shell Heroes. I'm a. I'm more in comics. So I mean, if you've read Transformers within the last 18 years, you've probably seen something I've done. But I, I haven't done anything. Uh, animation wise with the exception of half shell heroes thanks to Derek. I still got excited that one time. I think it was Glenn Marakami gave me uh note notes on something and I just was kind of 
being a geek and happy that Glenn Murakami had to email me to give me notes. <laughs> it's one of those dudes that you see uh, his name on shows, but you don't. You don't. That's like uh, Vlad. I saw I I saw his name on on like Nickelodeon credits a lot, and then he called to talk about the thing, and I was like, Ugh, I know this guy. Oh really? He's a yeah. I mean, he's, that's uh the same. He's guy. a pretty cool guy. He he literally has like a Transylvanian accent. Yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> such a cool name and such a cool voice. That's um. That reminds me of the I forget which one was it. I might have been the. I'd have been the Pasadena one where Sue Blue was there and you brought Sue and uh, and John Machida Jr. John down. John Machida, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck I was just him. thinking about that. We were just talking about that last week or something, right? Because that was I the place so. that had the they had like a connective tunnel to a different part of the hotel, yeah, but there was yeah, an yeah. ice cream shop inside the little. Yeah, tunnel. that that was that was in Rosemont. Yeah, I loved that. I, that was probably one of my favorite uh, bot cons. The um. I really loved Sue Blue doing the Creme Zeke. That was so fucking good. I watched the um I watched that uh the recording they have of it. I watched that a lot and I just really love watching her just fucking go crazy and do crazy stupid voices. <laughs> She's so cute. She is. Alright, I think we are ready to ink. Let's make sure. Yes. Let me zoom in so I can make sure I get these as anti-aliased as I can. I could go ahead and grab place is great. I need that in my life right now. Ali's about to bring her laptop in here because the stream keeps cutting off for me. Is that Photoshop CS4 or CS5? It is CS5. Uh, hey Derek, which one of the aliens you've drawn do you wish made it into Omniverse? Oh, I guess it means after after the show. I don't know. Uh, I liked how Spitter came out. That would have been pretty cool. And it would, plus, it just would have been funny to see him talk and stuff too. It's <laughs> <laughs> big mouth. Here we are, still laggy. So that means the connection. Oh, that sucks, guys. What is there's like mumbling in this music and it's really irritating me. Every once in a while someone starts talking and I'm not really I'm gonna click uh hold on. Let me find some different Twitch safe music to play. I can't find the one I that I always play that seems to be uh Here we go, let's try this one. Hold up, chill vibes, July from hours, Twitch safe background music. Alright, we're gonna go here. play Abe you should do a bunch of music that I can just play in the background do a bunch of music I can play in the background the Bacon uh, created are you using original series accelerate for color reference uh I, th I no no okay I don't know Derek's the one for that one um uh, they're using Accelerate for the live Mark, okay, what did Alex say? The BotCon where I get a text while I'm sleeping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it, but, to, but to, to counteract that, though, the next, the last BotCon, I was away, and there was, like, that big fight in the in the bar. And <laughs> yeah, I missed, I missed that. that, too. <laughs> Alex, I've never seen Alex so happy and excited, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's just like, oh my god, you won't believe what happened. One of my one of my favorite things is Alex when he's in a really because this is the thing I've, I don't a lot, I don't know how many people know uh, know about but Alex is very straight faced. He, there's not a lot of emotion shown with Alex. <laughs> I've only seen Alex super thrilled like twice, and this is not counting food. But the first time was that that fight. Alex was just lit up over that brawl that <laughs> happened was. in the bar. And then the second time was when we went to Disney and we rode Space Mountain. Um, I've I've never heard Alex say "we" before with such childish glee, but he did, and it was it probably made the entire trip. Alex is dying. Which not Alex is Marker Guru in the chat. I, I my name's my name's Josh, and I'm dying. 
It's not, that was such a weird sentence to say. That sounded so like, my name's Dimebleach, you should know. That's not how I meant it at all. Alright, let's get these out. Lines. Are these, okay, good. They're not set to, uh, Space Mountain. I want to go on Thunder Mountain too. Yeah. And Everest. Ugh. I haven't been to Everest in years and years. Um, am I am I using him for the blue or am I using um, uh, is this accelerate or am I using accelerate? For I don't know, Josh, I don't know what you're talking about though. On uh, what? What on fast track. Who am I using for I... for his blue for his color? The blue from the oh, fast track. Fast. I'm really bad. That's the guy that's in the uh, Ultimate Alien screen cap, right? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. I'm really bad with this, guys. I'm not. I'm not really up to the terms. Um. Wait. I thought you were Appleham. No, you're Appleham. We did. We did hear the Ben Tennyson Charles Williams. We did. Even with data, it's super laggy. I don't know what's up. That sucks, Ali. I'm sorry. You guys are not gonna have any fun and use this guy for I'm using I'm assuming I'm using uh, a lot of him for like the colors I need for like the Omnitrix and stuff Josh I can't tell what you're uh, talking about it's not like it's not showing you remember the lag and stuff oh right right I don't, I don't know which character you're pointing at when you're saying that oh I'm right now I'm working on I'm coloring the fast track we just inked so I'm assuming that I'm using these other guys as like color guides for what we need on them. So it's like a, Accelerate has the uh, Omnitrix on him, so I'm using that for the Omnitrix I'm putting on him. You're using the Accelerate for like the whole, for ev basically everything except the blue color. Okay, that makes a lot of sense then. And the center color the the neck and the center chest piece green like like Accelerate is. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm going to put the rim lighting on where the black is for now, but I'm I don't think we need a rim light. No, okay. Uh, it's not gonna animate, and it's <laughs> so it's like who cares? <laughs> um, is his um, what's it called? His uh, that lip on fast track? Should the lip be black too? Fast track's lip, yeah. Yeah. Assuming his eyes are uh, in the green color, are the um the eyes inside are those going to be black too or? Uh, no, the eyes are green. I mean the outside are uh, they're green, but uh, the the actual eye itself is that green too or like a lighter green maybe? Oh, you mean like the pupil? Yeah. I think you can just make it black. Okay. I, I'm I'm gonna uh, the window is covered. I'm don't don't take anything I say as correct because I'm 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 not really familiar with Ben 10. Finding bolts all green. What do you guys think of the Ben 10 reboot specials? I've I haven't seen them. I've only I've only seen the first Ben 10 series and then I watched Omniverse. But I did I only watched Omniverse because Derek worked on Omniverse. But I also liked it because there were a bunch of Transformer references from time to time. Like, I really like that one character that was just Crasher. Oh, who's got teeth I can use? Should I just use the... Do they have teeth color? Oh, they have teeth color here. Should I Maybe, just use that? Yeah. We'll use that in for now. Um, On the arms, um, there's that band. Is the band green and then everything else is black? Uh, the upper... Yeah, the upper arm is black and then... The band is green, and then below that is blue. Uh, the fur, the blue yeah. fur, yeah. What about on the actual gloves? How's that? How do the gloves work? Uh, the fingerless the, parts. The the rings are green, and the the palms are black. Okay. And is the belt on? Oh, let me look at him. Uh, what about the belt? That belt section on him. Belt is green with white straps. 
Is the it, wait? You said with white straps, so that's green. The green bar with white straps. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who's got white? I think it's the Omnitrix color. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna go in and make sure. I, I'm gonna render everything later. It's when got no color. pants on. <laughs> it's technically this is a not safe for work stream now. It, are his pants black? Yeah. How do his uh? What about his nails? Black. Black. And then what are we looking at with the with the, how the shoes are done? Um. His, I know his feet are out, so the nails are black, right? What? That's his. These are his toes, right? Yes. Okay, so the nails are black on that. It's really lagging for me. So like, yeah, I can't, sorry. Like, it's just filling in the fingernails right now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till it catches up. I just filled in the uh, the toes, so let me know when we're there. I always thought that, as far as accelerate's concerned, how his feet hold those balls together. That that, that would make my feet hurt. <laughs> Which it's, so, it's such a cool thing though. It's so unique. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. A Abe asks which Winx Club would be uh, Omni first. <laughs> Ban Abe from the chat, please. Ali <laughs> Ali says which Care Bear would have the Omni Trex. She says Omni Trex though. Not Omni Trex. That sounds like a, the cereal, the cereal version. <laughs> Abe says which mm, Omnitrix... Omnitrix stays crispy in milk. Abe says which Omnitrix cereal bar would be a care winx. Oh, I'm having a stroke from you guys. Would Simba from The Lion King and Ben 10 be friends? That's Tracy. Um, yes. <laughs> All right, let's let's talk shoes. So the the squiggly part, like right behind the toes, is black. Mm -hmm. What's the little square on the shoe? That is white. Okay. And then everything else is green. That was easy. Let me make sure I get that little piece up there, too. Now all I gotta do is add my values. What do you think of the Ben 10 reboot? doing armors for the aliens i mean if it works for the show i guess that's fine i don't know i don't know much about it are there any hold up when the stream is over would you keep the videos up um the vods are up on twitch for i think two weeks um i tried to download them but i just don't necessarily know how to put them up just yet without it you know without having to sit there and upload for like eight years so um at some point, they should all be on my YouTube. I'm going to try and put what I can, what I've saved on the YouTube channel. But until then, you got two weeks to watch, and I think you can download them, too. I don't know. Are there any anime you think would work well with Ben 10, for example, My Hero Academia? I don't know. I haven't seen My Hero Academia yet. I, I like all the designs and stuff. I really mm -hmm. kind of want to watch it, but I just haven't gotten into it. Do you think I should, on this shadow color form, you think I should add some purple you, to you that? You didn't finish the... The shoe, oh, oh. though, there's the everything else on the shoe is green except for the toes. Oh, these little these little blue portions down here. I missed them. I'm gonna wait for it all to catch up, and you let me know if that's correct. Um, what's Ben? <laughs> Ali asks what Ben Ten's favorite ice cream flavor is. <laughs> he doesn't have a single flavor, Ali. He it's likes ten. He likes ten different flavors. Ten he likes smoothies. He's always drinking smoothies. They had a. <laughs> that was because um, I think it, during the during the time of I can't remember if it was Alien Force. Oh, I think it was Alien Force. They um, it's when all of a sudden Cartoon Network wanted to be to promote healthy eating, so they wouldn't let they wouldn't let Glenn have uh, feed Ben Ten nachos. So they had to give him smoothies. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Yes. I was, and mind. then like you can tell like later on it doesn't doesn't matter anymore. Like in, in our show he's eating nachos and shit again. But there's it's 31. Just, it was just the times. Let's see, there's thirty one flavors of ice cream. Yeah, that means there's twenty one flavors that aren't Ben's favorite flavors. 
Tracy asks, would Ben find all the clues to solve Blue's clues? Uh, ben no, would use his Omni he would tricks. Not. He would use his Omni tricks to turn into a green blue named Green, and <laughs> solve all the clues as Green. Ben is not a good detective. You heard it. You heard it from Derek. Not a good detective. What? What is M H A? Uh, My Hero Academia. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So, does that mean you didn't like it the first time? I think like she didn't. She didn't like it the first time. I think. I think she liked it the first time, and upon a second viewing, liked it even more. I guess so because like she probably wouldn't watch it again if she didn't like it at all. That that happened with me with Devil Man Cry Baby. I loved it the first time, but when I watched it again, I liked it even more. Yeah. I loved that. I remember like the the first time I watched this is an anime, but like the first time I watched um Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. I think they were only up to like two or three seasons, but like I just like finished the third season and then I just started over again. <laughs> <laughs> I did that with The Office. But I don't know. I've, I've, I've complained about The Office. I love The Office. Uh, Can you please stuff. ban Uki the Frog for one week? <laughs> Would Ben 10 eat a Fofu Porky? <laughs> I'm just you keep talking about crossovers. It was meh first time, second time. I liked it a lot. What do you think of a Ratchet and Clank and Ben 10 crossover? Isn't um David K is mm -hmm. He's Clank. Yeah, he's, I think the rope. What's is the robot? Yeah, they both sound like robots. <laughs> I don't know. Which one is the robot? Yeah, I, I, love David I would be K. up for that. He's I would so be for cool. that. Like any, anytime you can have a, a voice actor interact with himself. Like the directors, like Sue would always like try to not have us do that, but I always want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that shadow on the on the right sleeve is kind of small. Oh, oh yeah, a little thin, I think. Wait, his right or our right? His right. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'll probably adjust it once I get the blue, and I'm just trying to get all my greens. Should the top, should I do um, dark on the top of this, or you think it should just be light on the top of his uh, the green, the other green wrist, his right green wrist? I'm yeah, yeah, you can do dark. I figure something to help separate the color mod can you ben can you ben uki from the omni tracks <laughs> why, why did you use your pizza points to highlight that i like i like uh david k uh because he was so nintendo and ranma that makes me happy go watch demon slayer i tried watching demon slayer i didn't really get too far i don't have patience for um What's it called? I don't have patience for anime now. I try, I sit down and try to watch it, but then I lose interest really fast. That's more a me thing than the anime, though. There's something about me that just starts turning off really fast when has, I try and watch anime. Has anybody seen the Pacific Rim series on Netflix? Oh, is that? I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, I want to know if it's any good. I, I kind of like Pacific Rim. It's not, not my favorite thing in the world, but I kind of like to watch it if it's... My Hero Academia is pretty. That I agree. Like character designs in that show look really cool. Like every time crossover is getting annoying. I love crossover. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, like I, I have want a, more crossover. I'm such a sucker for crossovers. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why um I really liked Endgame was because it was like everything. <laughs> it yeah, can, I, don't, everything. I don't know if it counts as a crossover if it's like all in the same universe. But yeah, I really like crossovers because of that. And freaking like Godzilla and Kong was fun. I I, I like the um, that was fun. Yeah. I like the one with Mothra and, and Ghidorah too. I, thought that I still need to cool. watch that. I think I I think they're taking it off of HBO Plus. One of them is coming off oh. of H, HBO Plus, and so I need to check it out. Oh. They have I didn't know they had a uh, house on um Houseu quote unquote on HBO Max. The movie? Yeah. Or... The uh the, like the, the... <laughs> the Japanese one. The, the Doctor series. <laughs> Should I bother with a shadow on the on the the one on the on our right side on the um the white on the belt? 
Uh, do what? Um, should I bother putting a shadow on the belt on the like the the white piece of the oh, belt? Nah. Okay, I figured as much. But just wanted that, yes. The his blue is so glowy. That's so weird. I think we have to back that off a little bit. I think so too. Well, like now that you're dropping all the green and the black in it, it looks so weird. Yeah. Let me let's let me adjust the. I just want to make sure it's different than accelerate because that's yeah. like the his whole his whole entire existence failure is that he's a lamer accelerate <laughs> Hold on, let me see how this blue works i don't think that's different enough i mean different enough from his previous color i mean it's kind of nice though yeah it's I'll, like I'll just, it's I'll a little bit more like blur almost kind of like yeah. blur blurs colors. I'll work with it like this for now, but we can always adjust okay. it later. That's why I like doing digital colors, because you can always adjust it. I don't know if this shadow color is pretty not good. Thanks for the uh, follow, Sir Chomper PVC. Let me see. We're leaving both of us. <laughs> oh. Also, okay, good time there. So freaking good. Have you guys seen the Space Jam sequel putting all the Warner Brothers properties in? Yeah, somebody, somebody showed me a freeze frame of it. It had like Jack Nicholson, Joker, and stuff in yeah, it. Yeah, they, like they had um, in, in one of the freeze frames, they have uh, three different Jokers. I think it's the, the Nicholson. The uh, Romero and uh, I, I'm not sure if it's Leto or if it's um, Ledger, but they have three Jokers standing right next to each other. It's crazy. I still really like, like I'm not a fan of basketball at all, and I'm not really a Looney Tunes fan either. So <laughs> it's just it's just not my thing. I thought it was it like the 2D part looked kind of like it might be kind of cool, but I I, I'll be. See. CG basketball game. I'll Thank be honest. You. I think one of the only things I'm excited for Space Jam with is seeing some characters that would never get any kind of a yeah. different. Like I never thought I would yeah. see a Frankenstein Junior 3D model in anything. And isn't isn't uh, Iron Giant in there too? Yeah, like, Iron Giant's in yeah. there. Iron Giant was in there. terrible movie. What was that? Oh, Ready Player One. Oh yeah, that movie was. What a waste worst. of using Canada's bike. What a waste of like, everything. literally everything. I, Every I, resource that went into that was a waste. I like how the the lady in the the, the girl in the book. I don't. I, this is just from what I'm what I'm what I've heard. I've I haven't read Play, Ready Player One. I didn't even bother watching it. But apparently, the the girl in the book is supposed to like be not. She's supposed to be a little uh, chubbier or something. And in the movie, she's like, "You're not gonna think I'm attractive because I'm hideous or I've got whatever." And it just she has a birthmark, and she's just everything I, else I is traditionally that. attractive. Terrible, terrible. Oh, I just now noticed I'm getting uh, frame rate drops now, so hopefully it doesn't affect everyone. Let me see. Rubenesque is how they call her. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Paul it should be Paul Rubenesque. <laughs> John Paul is not really happy with me. He's not a fan of the backgrounds on the pages. That 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 can be that can be frustrating. I can understand it, but he'll 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 still power through them. Abe says, "Alex, I'll color. I'll use my poster paints and some Chip and Dale stickers. That'd be great." When you're finished, are you gonna post this outside of Twitter? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I I, I don't post them anywhere. Oh, I should. Um, I'm gonna get this so I can get his little chin hairs. I'm so excited for more shattered glass stuff. Yeah, it looks like it's 
I mean, now that it's official, it's starting to like kind of trickle out a little bit. Like, what else is there? Anything else besides Blur? Was there's there's just Optimus, there's Optimus, Ratchet, and Blur yeah, so far, right? I I've seen now. I don't know officially, but I've seen rumored listings for like a Jetfire. Um, are y'all using Skype to chat? Yeah. Um, do you think? Uh, do you want to see if Ali wants to pop in? Yeah, that's fine. Allie. I'm gonna pop out for a second and pee. Okay. I'll be right back. I hate to I hate to put you on the spot, uh, Abe, but are you are you busy too? Maybe we can have uh, cause I know Ali can't watch because this thing's really weird. I had to speed color so many things this week. You have all my respect, <laughs> which my hand is unhappy. Uh I had to do a lot of speed coloring, but that's because I lost so much time over the weekend I had to make up for it. It's not fun. Uh, rather than Earthwise, I have a feeling if they if they do Megatron, it's gonna be one of these already one of the non-specialty molds. But I feel like they should do something with Super Megatron. I wanted to buy Super Megatron, but now that I can buy him, uh, he was like available for the longest time. But now that I can buy him, he's not available anymore. I'm wincing right now. Oh, gosh. Josh. Hmm. I heard a rumor that um, the next the next Haunted Mansion movie is going to be a story about Constant ha Constance Hatchaway. Ooh. That sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, because it's like actual mansion lore, maybe? That would be... That'd be pretty cool. I have to get another drink here in a second, too. Actually, I will. Oh, that way, I'm going to wait to see if I can hear back from. While I'm waiting, let me go ahead and just keep doing this. Should there be a, a highlight on the middle finger, or you think it should just all be in shadow after the index? I'm trying to taper this a little. So um, just uh, maybe just fill it in and let's look at it and see what it looks like. It's probably it probably doesn't need a highlight. Yeah, maybe make thumb highlight not so harsh though. Just want to do something. What, was that Figment comic Marvel? Yeah. Um, I thought that was okay. The have... first one's okay. The second one I didn't really get into, but I didn't read it all the way through, so I need to do that still. I just got the... Like, I got a subscription to the Marvel Unlimited so I can read comics. Oh. I wonder if it's in there. It should. I, I would imagine it has to be. I, I can't imagine they're losing any money putting it on there. <laughs> I didn't read any of the other ones, though, because they had... The other rides had stuff. Oh, they did? Yeah, I believe... Was it all Epcot stuff, or was it all different? No, I, I think one of them was... Uh, fuck. What was the other one? It wasn't Pirates. It was another one. Oh, let me add Ali. I, I know they did a... They did a Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout comic, but it's it's in, like, the comic book style, not the movie oh. style. They did... Um, they, I think they did the same thing with uh, Galaxy's Edge. They had a Galaxy's Edge comic. Yeah. I, I have that. That's actually kind of kind of not bad i thought oh really the art isn't great but the stories were kind of fun some of them it's like a story about greedo and he really fucks up his his mission it's really <laughs> funny <laughs> hello mystery kids hey silent g what playlist are we listening to we are listening to uh twitch safe it's called chill vibes and relaxing music mix three hours Twitch stream safe background music. It's from a user named Xmod Matt on YouTube. I'm not a big fan of the music. I just can't have silence, and it won't. I'll, I'll end up muting us if, if uh, Derek. If you worked on the Ben 10 reboot, what would you have done differently, design wise? I think if you worked on it, just it would just be in his style. Like in just in general, it would just be in his style. 
Hello? 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 Is Derek still here? Oh no. I think Derek disappeared. <laughs> there's, there's only room for two at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Skype's been fun with Derek. Um, I'm gonna mute here in a second to uh, go get something to drink. So let's see. I'm going to zoom out on. Oh, let me get this. I'm gonna get this arm covered first. Uh, if Derek comes back and I'm out, just let him know that I'll take any any notes when I come back. That's Alrighty. the thing. Is now now that you're part of this, now you're officially just a. Now you're here to help me with. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Never mind. I quit. <laughs> Also don't want it to meet that one. Let's do like this maybe. Okay. There. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna mute my mic and I will be right back. Okay. Allie, it's your job to carry the call. Oh, wait, I think I gotta yeah, I gotta call Derek again. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Derek. Hold on. I'm gonna wait for Derek before I bolt. Not bolt before I go get a drink. There he is. Hello. There he is. It's not letting me. There we go. It wasn't letting me look at your at the uh, at your text. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna uh, fix any values when I come back. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Someone left the it door open and I just walked in. Where was it? Where? In your house? Okay. Did I? Mute? <laughs> no, in here. Nope. Oh. I didn't mute. I muted for you guys, but I didn't mute in for Twitch. the. I, I can see the that. chat, Abe. Now I can. Hold on. I'm gonna Don't worry. Here. Don't be scared. Thank goodness I didn't have Abe to the call. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Tracy? Where'd she go? To bed. Well, to shower and then to bed. <laughs> it's only, it's not only like, oh, it is nine o'clock there. So it's nine o'clock. <laughs> It's time. <laughs> she goes to bed. I'm surprised it's pretty late for her. She's usually in bed by 8.45. <laughs> That's true. Oh my goodness. Sweet. I got here pretty late because I was working. Did Josh tell you that we watched Mac and Me last night? Yeah, yeah. I think that... I was telling Josh, I think that they did Mac and Me on Mystery Science Theater. I wouldn't be surprised. It was, I think it was one of the new Netflix ones, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Cause I, I re like he was describing like the, the part with the family, you know, in the beginning. And I'm just like, <laughs> I, like I totally saw like a picture in my head. It's so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. That movie is I so wanna, bad. Crazy. I really want to make Tracy watch it. I was trying to, I was telling her about it. <laughs> I'll watch it again. <laughs> I want to see you the can one tell where it. Gary gets into the dog. Yeah, I can't wait. We gotta watch that tomorrow, or at some point. What was it called? It's called Quigley. Quigley. There's a. <laughs> wasn't there a um, Crocodile oh. Dundee ripoff called Quigley Down Under? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know. Of. Quigley Village is one of those Christian puppet shows I like so much. Oh, jeez. <laughs> good stuff. Gosh, I wish Josh would come back from getting his drink so I could get a, <laughs> go get my drink because I just ran out. <laughs> How much drink do I have? I have about half, half left of a drink. I have... Can you hear? <laughs> That's two <laughs> sips. I have like a, it's like a... Like Poor Derek. Four trips. <laughs> yeah. Guys, listen. This is why Derek needs to start a Patreon. He's only got one <laughs> sip left of his drink. He's suffering. He's dehydrated. <laughs> aren't there, Ellie? Aren't there um, 
big plush of the country bears with rubber faces, like gold ones. There the are. There are. Actually, They're really get cute. Those. <laughs> okay. I am Man, <laughs> those rubber face toys crack me up. All right. It's good stuff. I am back. Oh, man. Now everyone has to. Shit. Now everyone has to talk about square cookies. Do we want to add Abe? Do they want to be in here too? Oh, Jesus. yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, oh, um, this that, this arm shadow looks looks off to me. I think a lot of the like the arm shadows and the neck shadow look too too skinny. I wanna. I think they just all need to be beefed up a little bit on the arms and neck. Yeah, I can do that. Let me start with the neck real quickly. Like, uh. It'd be nice if the neck one could come down into a nice, just like a straight arc that goes into the shoulder, a straight line that goes into the shoulder, like an angle. Oh, okay. Uh, should, there, that, should I beef up the shoulder one then, as well? What, whatever you need to do to make it. Um, All right, let me go uh, into a nice, nice like triangle shape. Okay, let me. Let me. I'm gonna cut out some of this shadow so I can figure out where I need to put it. So this is not going to be what I'm doing, but what, what's Abe doing? Uh, Abe doesn't, <laughs> Abe says he's winksing. Yeah, that's, that's not surprising. I'm only... Why, why does, uh, why does Invincible remind me of Winks, kind of? Like, is it the animation or something? Like, there's something about it that, like, is winksy to me. I don't know. Maybe it's the cleanup line or something. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I burped and then I choked on my own burp. <laughs> <laughs> it was that one sip trying to do you in. Uh, no, I don't know who that is, NPZ man. It's not a, it's not a friend of mine, so they wouldn't be on the chat or in the stream. I mean, I only, I only like my friends being in the stream. Is that, is that still thin? I feel like I just made it thin still. It looks really, but I can't, I don't know where you are yet. Is it still moving? Mm -hmm. That's better. Okay. Well, I want to move this. Maybe the, mm -hmm. under the chin could be a little, a little curved more. So it's not quite so. Do you want to keep it? Should I keep it in that same area or should I just curve yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, just add a little arc to it. So it, yeah. Or more of an arc. Well, I really don't like this cow's face. Which cow? What? I'm looking at rubber face toys again. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were calling me a cow again, like you always do to try to get away with it. There's really good ones mm -hmm. of the, the Flintstones, where they have like. Oh yeah. They conf I think they confuse them with, the Jolly D Green Giant or something, because Barney Rubble will have like green hair, like it, so it looks like the leaves on the jelly green giant's head <laughs> interesting i know they had that big rubber like the whole head is rubber the one that looked yeah. like john goodman i still want that i like it like oh i don't like how that cow looks you got these i don't like, like it bedroom either eyes. look at her putting her big ass in the air but I like i do like it when they have like just the just the face is rubber and then like the head yeah. around it is Especially when, like, the whole head around it doesn't really look like it matches the face. It seems kind of weird. <laughs> They're all so silly looking. Find some more Disney characters. I want to see some, like, Disney versions of that. Like, Alright, let's see. I'm sure there's a Mickey's. I'm sure there's tons of Mickey's. Goofy? There's bound to be some like oh, yeah. pretty amazing goofies if they're. <laughs> oh yeah, some some poorly <laughs> colored see. goofy faces oh. and like and like really detailed oh, detailed the uh, head sculpture. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's so wrinkly. <laughs> yeah. They almost always are super wrinkly like that. Well, I'm trying to find a really good one. I wish there was another goofy movie that was. Like, that I don't good, even yeah. care if it was, like, the same with Max and stuff, or just, just like, another there's, movie with... There is. Goofy there's a, yeah, there's you know? an extremely goofy movie. There's an goofy extremely movie. goofy movie. It's all right. It's... I wouldn't it's say... It's bad. It's good on its own terms, but I really think that, that 
uh, the first Goofy movie is just so fucking good. It's the best. But I, it's still it's worth My watching. It's is, still worth dude. watching. My favorite is still those ones from the is it the fifties where he's George. Oh Keith? yeah, he's not even. Goofy. Mm-hmm. Those are the best. Like the like not only is the <laughs> they're funny as shit, but they're like the. The drawings are amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, I didn't see it. You better post that to the chat so everybody can see it. Oh, I don't know goodness. how I would go about doing that. I'll do it. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want to make it bigger. Is oh, it? Oh, my God. <laughs> did, you, did you save the image, or is it, like, a link? Um, I just, like, shared it into the, uh, the Skype. Oh, well, then no one that else gets body to see it. even look like it's appropriate for him. It's just like a random stuffed animal body that they threw on there. <laughs> Goofy that's how Bigfoot. a lot of those rubber face stuffed animals Oh, yeah, look. that's right. The Bigfoot and Goofy's movie shaved himself and attends the university that Max goes to in an extremely Goofy movie. Oh, yeah. All right, most of the, most of the Plutos are cute. Give me more Goofy. That Pluto looks like he's up to no good, though. I'll see some country bear. <laughs> I love seeing the theme park, the like theme park exclusive what? characters in. Uh, I like seeing them in in these things. He's got pants on. <laughs> he's evolving. This is. This is not that. <laughs> you say he's evolving. <laughs> <laughs> he's becoming more human. I think I can't tell if this is one of the Disney three pigs or if it's just a pig. <laughs> He's evolving. <laughs> does does Disney really have any exclusive exclusive park characters like like how Florida has bears? Orange Bird and Figment? Who am I I'm looking for? Um, wait. Does who does what? Does Disney World or Disneyland? Disneyland. Do they have any? equivalent to I don't think that is a Disney pig that doesn't have any <laughs> let me see <laughs> doesn't have any of the markings know. yeah that looks like a devil Disney pig that's pig. just a straight up devil pig why is he a devil well you know how just he's red because he's red I guess but Josh you know how how figment and orange bird are exclusive to mm-hmm. to Disneyland Florida. Disney World, like yeah. I was just wondering if, if Disneyland has any exclusive characters um, yeah. Hat, Hatbox <laughs> Ghost Patrick kind of Dora, the... what Hatbox Ghost we don't have them here you don't have Hatbox? I don't think we do. I guess we have the other guy. That's we have the the, um, the Matterhorn Yeti, too. That's different. I'm trying to oh, find. Yeah. I forget how how I normally render this fucking the arm facing this way. I really, I really would like to do some kind of stream where I just share pictures of like. Oh my god, there's so many and they're so disturbing. And yet some of them are so cute. I think you had it right before where it kind of cuts, yeah, cuts, it cuts in like the yeah, it cuts in follows the arm thing. shape. It just yeah. it just needed to be a little a little thicker. sticker like I had it. Goofy movies. I like the Disney. I like Disney's Three Little Pigs. Hey Derek, what would Megatron do if he met Mav Riedel? I I don't know. He'd say, he'd say, Mav Riedel, I'm, (laughs) hello, I'm Megatron. (laughs) (laughs) Hello. Hello. I come in peace. I've come to bargain with you for your cereal, man. Oh, I don't like that band at all. Let me tilt this. I'm they used gonna... to use like in the in the comics, the old comics. They used to have the Big Bad Wolf would show up, like when he would show up with the other Disney villains. Like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Madame M was like that a little bit too. Let me zoom out a bit. Let's look at these and uh, get some. Get some things. Should he have any shadow on the top of his head? I kind of wonder if he should. Like, maybe, like, a. I don't know. 
Let me see. Uh, maybe, maybe he doesn't need it. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Let me see. Let's put one in there, and then we'll see how we feel. Nah, I don't think he needs it. I feel like it's squishing his face. His face is already squished. <laughs> How about that? That arm shadow is really throwing me off now. The one on his on Which our one? on our right. Does that look alright? You think I should alter it a little? Uh, I can live with it. Okay. Do you have any favorite obscure slash underrated Disney villains? Um, well, I like Radigan a lot. Like he's one of my favorites. Yeah. And the Horn King. Oh, the Horn King's great. I love yeah. the Horn King. so cool. Uh, I love the Black Cauldron. Kronk. Uh, uh, I like Kronk a lot. <laughs> I don't know if he's underrated, but... It was, it, like, Emperor's New Groove is pretty... Was pretty well-received and did yeah. well, right? It's Gideon. not like one of the... I'm with you know, Abe on Gideon, but I think I'm partial because me and Abe were Gideon. Who's Gideon? The He's, um... Oh, what's the fox from uh, Pinocchio? He's he's his little sidekick buddy. Oh, is he a cat? Is he yeah, a cat? yeah, he was a drunk cat. That country bear looks yeah, so fucking a, crazy. A cool, that, is, cool that is a pretty that's, good that's, one. That's good. Yeah. Are you going to add uh, shade or anything in the pure black? Um, no. I mean I can, but uh, Derek seems to be content with it not. So I'm I'm gonna I'm doing the path of less uh, of less work really. I like this this obscure Disney villain. Let's think of more obscure yeah. Disney villains. Is this is this good? What about, oh, should I oh. just should I just put them on What's, on white and send them to you? I just watched. Uh, what did you say? Should I just put them on white and send them over? Uh yeah. Right. Sure. Oh oh, did you want to do the? Oh, we want to do the, the brow glasses. The, yeah, the sunglasses. Should those be green? Sunglasses. Yeah, those should be green like his eyes, and then like a just big enough to cover like a highlight everything. Him. Probably just do this straightforward, with uh, just big enough. To, should they be huge? Cover the entire thing, or just enough to cover the eyes? If you if you need to, you can just black in the eyes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't want them like. No, I don't want them like a clown sunglasses or something. They should be still be like. How far do you think they should go? Because I'm thinking like Kamina style, like hanging out a little. Yeah. Bit. Okay. Should I cover the nose completely, or you think that they should? I should try and avoid the nose, or what? Yeah, try not to cover the nose. Okay. Me, I'm gonna lower his opacity too, so it will help me out a little. Oh yeah. Uh, you Silent know what? G I think Captain Hook. Captain Hook is always, always cool. Yeah, Captain Hook is pretty underrated. I mean, like he's not. Yeah. Like he's he's, he's he's a little more well known, but I feel like every time he's around, he's not really utilized as as much as he should be. I think be. he he's one of those villains that used to be more popular than he is now you know yeah. he used to be like in the yeah. parks a lot and stuff. i think i i don't know if he would count but i kind of feel like dr facilier is a little underrated i don't really see yeah, him as much as yeah. i feel like as a, as he a might yeah, that's they true might have him more if they put him in the splash mountain oh right yeah but his walk around character always looks super cool like yeah he does facilier has always been one of those i just really appreciate his like that kind of a character that yeah he's evil in a very specifically evil way that i like that i feel yeah. isn't really utilized as much as i'd like it to be yeah definitely i have to black he's, um, guys a little bit it seems like he would be good to team up with other villains too mm -hmm. yeah. i'd love to see like i'd love to see uh, like a sort of like black magic team up between like maleficent Ursula and Facilier, maybe Jafar as well. Oh yeah, Jafar. Is uh, what? <laughs> is Mother Gothel magic too? Like is she? Foul fellow, that's his name. I don't know. Is who Mother what? What's what's Foul fellow? That's the fox. Fellow? That's the fox. His name from uh, Pinocchio. His that. name is Foul fellow. I believe it is. That's how you know he's a good guy. <laughs> Weird. I don't know. Hold up. I'm gonna put these glasses are... in. Let me know if they're too big. Okay. They look like they might be too big. Cruella, Cruella Deville 
Death Stranding stuff comes in Krillaville. Like, Krilla is awesome. She's like, and like, there's one, there's one park um, performer that does Cruella that's like so crazy good. I see her in like YouTube videos and stuff, and it's mm -hmm. just like so, so funny and so awesome. I don't like the kind of a weird one, but one of my favorite villains is the Pocahontas villain, Governor Ratcliffe, just oh, yeah. because I really like his. <laughs> His color scheme is cool. He's, like, it is it's nice. just nice. He's a very his, appealing designed character. Yeah, his design is pretty good. Like his face and stuff is pretty good. I'm gonna redraw these. I'm gonna put a base under it instead of trying to do it. Do you me. want me to? Do you want me to do a sketch, Josh, and send it to you? Or? Uh, I might. I should. I might be able to do it. If I if I start okay. having issues with it, then I'll definitely ask you to do it. But I just think it's because I was trying to freehand it. It wasn't really working. What? What? Um. This could be a good question for people in the chat too, if you want to answer. But what, what Disney characters would you want to see as like walk around characters in the parks? I want to see like, Figment you, you come back. Figment I like, I'd like to see Figment come back, but I'd like to see him come back as the puppet. Yeah, you know what? I I would like on, that uh, on Dreamfinders. Yeah, that that was so cool. I'm surprised they haven't messed with that. Really, I don't know. It seems like. Figment, it, maybe he's not like, coming back, but like I feel like I see more like merchandise and stuff. Well, they they redid the the ride, didn't they, Josh? Yeah. They um originally the ride the the ride didn't have Figment in it when because he had the original Figment ride. Then they took Figment out and it was just um what was it was it just Journey into Journey into Imag into imagination or something like that with Eric Idle. And then people got mad and they added Dreamfinder back in it. But they haven't changed the ride since then. So that was like the 90s. Or what was that the 90s? That was probably the 90s. Ooh, Wii Farmer. Wii Farmer says Hades. Hades would Hades be awesome. Is, Hades is fantastic. He's just so freaking awesome. <laughs> Wait. Like, I, I love James Woods, too. Like, he's mm -hmm. just such a cool character. Did they ever give Orange Bird a suit? Like, Not to walk around? Know. Not that I know of. That'd how cool. would he walk around? Like Cogsworth would be cool too, but like, how would that work? Cogsworth would be awesome Cogsworth has a, he has a like, suit. He does? Yeah, he's in the stage play. Yeah. One of my favorite things is, <laughs> it's just weird, I don't know why, but like one of my favorite things is, uh, is seeing them, all the Beauty and the Beast uh, objects as humans at the end. And I love that that, that part is in the ride. Like, <laughs> it's just awesome to see those guys. Me and Silas watch that stage play a lot. It's a uh, what's it called? The it's kind of funny because it feels like those Japanese stage plays. Man, I don't, I can, I don't know if you can hear it, Derek, but I can hear a lot of stuttering on Ali's end. I'm not it's even not talking. Been, it's not been bad. Oh, okay, because I was gonna say like it's the the static stutters a lot. No, I can't hear it. Okay, then it's just. I it's think just, our I connection don't... is. Yeah, I think all of our connections are probably shit tonight. Like, yeah. I've dropped out at least twice, so... That could very well be because of my end, too. It's fun. Right, let me get well, no, because I saw the... My router turned yellow again, so I... Yeah, but, um, the... Uh -oh. I've, I've been dropping frames. That means you need to feed it a banana. Has Derek ever drawn any Disney characters? I think he has. Characters. I know I've drawn like Scrooge McDuck and what else? Uh, I haven't. I probably haven't really drawn that many. That would be a cool. That would be awesome if uh, if we did the Patreon and, and one of the months was Disney character that we could do a and be a, a really hard choice. Did am I doing? Am I supposed to do this top? I'm bending this top bar in a lot. Should it like just be straight across? Because I think Prowl's eyes were like, hold up, Prowl's eyes were like, uh, like this, something like that. Or were they like this? I'm gonna wait for it to catch up. So I'm drawing them like this. <laughs> Josh, you're like drawing stuff and erasing it, and I don't know what you're, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. You gotta wait for it to catch up. You gotta wait for it to catch up. What does so that even mean? Three, the, there's three sets. Which one? 
I'm I'm drawing. Am I supposed to be putting this dip in the glasses? Is essentially what I'm asking. Because I don't know if Prowl's model, if the the glasses, I forget if his shades were, if they just were straight across like these top two, or if they. No, they're not straight across. Okay. Are they? Are they? I think I think I'm exaggerating a bit, but I think the exaggeration is because his heads, this character's heads, a little more exaggerated. Let me ink them and then we'll see how the glasses look. I think the top part you have, it's the the bottom part needs a little more work because it's a little too rounded. Okay, should I angle them more? Like, should it be more sharp? Yeah. That's easy to do. And maybe you want to pull it up above his nose. Yeah, more too so it doesn't make a tangent. I also want two. Let me take these out real quickly and then. Isma as a walk around would be. Also, I think there is one for for like the villains knights or something, isn't there? there? Like I, I believe. Yeah. I remember seeing her on uh, on cruises. I remember. Um, I watched that. Uh, it's like kids react or whatever, where they had um, and it was a try not to eat, and they made like Disney food, and they made oh, man. crunks crunk spinach puffs. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I want that so. <laughs> Why don't they have that in the park somewhere? Like. That is surprising that they don't do more like, well, there's like the gray stuff, but all yeah, the videos the I've seen, stuff. they don't really utilize like much of like food that's in cartoons and things that they could make. It's just kind of like what themes. Else is there? Stuff. There's like they could do like uh, the, um, what's the dish from Ratatouille? The um, oh shoot, just Ratatouille. No, the Ratatouille. Oh, yeah, Ratatouille. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. That's a good brain fart right there. Yes, ratatouille, ratatouille. <laughs> they're um, they're gonna. That's gonna most likely be in the parks once the ratatouille place opens up in Epcot in France. Oh. Is there a, a restaurant? Are yeah. they gonna put? Are they gonna put the ride in there? The one that's in mm -hmm. France. Yeah. Oh. They're gonna have the ride. That's and one of the food. trackless ones, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, it's trackless. It's on a. Uh... Is, isn't um what's it called? Isn't uh Galaxy's Edge is that trackless? Yeah, I think it's trackless. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, the new one. The rest are just the new one yeah. is. It looks really cool, but I heard it has a lot of problems. Like it breaks down a lot. Yeah. Oh really? I think yeah, they're out of tune with this too. Josh and I didn't get get on it because it broke down for oh. us. <laughs> I just hear. I just know it's hard to catch reservations for it. That's what yeah. I've been hearing. It, it was crazy when we went because like everybody's just standing around searching at like you know looking at their phones for a minute and then like you start hearing people go yeah yeah woohoo <laughs> like as they get their, their group called. <laughs> Star Wars one is blue milk stuff. Yeah, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, Galaxy's Edge has the blue milk. That's that's pretty cool. I wish it tasted <laughs> like. Uh, I wish it tasted like the the milk at the bottom of a bowl of Fruit Loops or something though. More than yeah. What does it taste like? It's it's just kind of vaguely fruity, citrusy kind of, and it's it's sort of like it's it's not chunky, but it's sort of like a slushy, <laughs> you know. I I get you. Kind of like just like a drink that someone left in like the freezer for like about thirty minutes. It's not frozen yet. Seem like it doesn't seem like it's not purposeful. Like it seems like that's what it's supposed to be like. But, but and it, it's a nice texture. It's it's not bad. It's just not like, whoa! I want to drink three of these. <laughs> you drink one and you're good. Yeah, it's not like not like Dole Whip where you eat that and be like. I like all the cute themed Dole Whips they do. There's all kinds of like Disney Disney World has all kinds of different Dole Whip flavors now too, right? Like, yeah. Which is cute, but also doesn't that defeat the purpose? Like, isn't it a Dole Whip because of the flavor? If you make oh, it Dole like Whip, lemon or Dole's something. a brand that probably has oh. more. Oh, I don't know. I guess that's out. just. I guess that's true. Yeah. Okay, fine. You're right. For one. <laughs> For every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, now it's gotten to now it's gotten to his head. <laughs> I 
I you know what what uh, costume I really dislike that Disney does mm -hmm. is the headless horseman. Yeah, it looks he's pretty bad. totally off model. He doesn't look anything like the cartoon. It's awful. I it's so really generic like looking. It. It's just got like a a tan a tan like top coat on. Yeah. Not, it doesn't have like the black suit with the red cape and stuff. It's like. If I was Disneyland, I'd be embarrassed for myself. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him up. How's that look on the glasses? I'm gonna wait for it to catch up. Maybe it doesn't oh, need the God. highlight. Okay. I think it looked better without the highlight. Yeah. Definitely felt more Ben Tenny without it. Re yeah, Jack Skellington look looks kind of bad too, where you have like the yeah, top of the head does. and the mouth. Yeah. Did the walk around Jack Skellington? Yeah. yeah. Okay, everyone. I don't know how they would do that really. It's like. Oh, it, Abe, it, Abe's, it's doing the, <laughs> Abe's doing the thing where when we have to go off stage, where it's like Chip and Dale are going to go backstage and get, a, and get themselves a, a, a slice of pecan pie. They'll be right back in five minutes because, okay, everyone. Okay, Derek has to step away for just a little bit. He's going to call Mickey Mouse and eat a slice of cheesecake. Just wait in line here and be right back in five minutes. Just wait five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So how are we feeling with um uh Benton party glasses? What were some of the can cute you send excuses? Me a Latin version of both of those? Yeah. Or Do you can put on one. Do we want to do? Do we want to try? Uh, uh, is there any like recolors you want to try, or? Or you think this oh, is good? Oh, oh, you, oh. Know, you know what? I did want to. I thought the um. Uh, what was it now? No, actually, no. I don't think so. I um, just this this one for now. Could you could you do do it so it's like there's um one side by side with the other one? Yeah. This size. What are we looking at? With 5.76, we'll do 11 inches. Should be fine. Can you believe that Falcon and Winter Soldier is almost over? That is oh yeah. Just like freaking blown by so fast. It's crazy. I can't handle these six episode seasons. It's too short. <laughs> I think Loki's only gonna be six too. Oh, is it? I think so. I'm not positive. But hopefully, um, what if will be more episodes. I'm excited for what if just because it looks like they might do Marvel zombies. Yeah, they look like they're Ooh. definitely gonna do Marvel zombies, and it right. looks cool. I'm I'm such a sucker <laughs> for Marvel zombies. I just I love the Watcher too in general. Yeah. Like, I just want to see more of the Watcher. Uh, the Peggy Carter looks pretty awesome too, with the Steve Rogers having that big Iron Man mm -hmm. suit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta get some water. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Man, we weren't streaming for too long. It's only been like two <laughs> hours. to drink water. <laughs> or like when they're like, we need to drink a water. Yeah, they used to do that too. Hi, what are your thoughts on See, Matt's DuckTales? I, I like Matt's DuckTales. I haven't watched it all, but I, from what I've seen, I like it. Abe, what was your favorite kind of excuse your handlers would use? 